Okay guys, so today we're going to talk about comparing two campers, the Radiance 25RB to the MPG 2550RB. But what I'm really trying to show you here guys is a technique for comparing any two things. So when you're looking to make a big purchase or any kind of purchase, you look at all your choices and it could be two things or it could be, let's say you narrowed it down to four, then you would just like bracket it out and then down select, right? So you just do head to head, head to head until you get down to your favorite one. Okay, so that's kind of the basic idea. Now let's just see how this might go. So what I'll do is for, the, for each of these campers, I've got um, like basically the floor plan with some uh, the basic data. This is a three-dimensional walkthrough and I've got the features and then this is an actual site that's selling it with pictures and then over here I've got YouTube videos of walkthroughs and same thing for over here. Uh, you know, 3D walkthrough, features and then a site that's selling this camper. Right? So we'll just go through them one at a time and take a look. So starting off with, we just look, okay, take a look at this floor plan. So I actually like just about everything about this floor plan. Um, I mean, this isn't like the top of the line camper, but it ain't bad either, you know? Uh, so you walk in, it's got good steps on it. You got a nice big storage area, huge bathroom, probably bigger than it needs to be. A little bit of wasted space, but I don't mind wasting space in the bathroom because that's important. <laughs> so here you got a, um, either a couch or a couple or you know theater seats whatever the option and you might want to pick but it's right across from the TV so you're looking right at it so that's a good thing it's not at some weird angle you also have the dinette and I like how this sink is at an angle here so that your sink isn't right under a cupboard that makes it hard to get to this is really easy to get to so wide open space there's a wall separating the bedroom, the door, and it's got a king size bed. So this is like pretty much perfect for what we want. This is, this is our choice, by the way. Let's go over here for a minute <clears throat> on the MPG. Uh, and we did put a deposit on one of these. So we're really close to buying one of these too. Here you walk in more toward the front and you kind of walk right into the seats, which I'm not a big fan of that, you know, if uh, you were sitting here and somebody comes to the door, you're sitting like you could be sleeping on this couch. I don't really like that too much. Also, you, you see right into the bedroom when you open the door. So I don't like that too much either. And this is actually kind of open. You got a king size bed here though. That's nice. And then here, you, also, you're not facing the TV. The TV's off to the side. So I guess if you were to lay down this way, but two people can't really sit here and watch TV comfortably. Um, then you got your uh, dinette over here, this is the refrigerator. Uh, the sink area is nice here too. It's out a little brought out from the cabinetry a little bit. And then again, you got a nice bathroom and this one's even better. It's got two sinks. So it's, it's got two sinks and it's got an outdoor kitchen and those are the, probably the two advantages. But looking at both of them, I definitely like the Radiance floor plan way better. So this is a win for this guy. Now let's look at some of the specs. Here, the gross vehicle weight, it, it can go up to 9,580 pounds, which means it's got 4,500 pound axles under it. It's dry weight is 6,000 pounds, so you can, you, know, you can add quite a bit to it if you got a truck to pull it. Whereas over here, dry weight 6,000, but uh, you can only go up to 7,600 pounds because it's got 3,500 pound axles on it. Uh, I'm guessing on some of this stuff, guys, so if, if I got this wrong, you know, don't shoot me, okay? Hitch weight 714, 780 over here. Uh, carry capacity is just the difference between your dry weight and what it can go up to. It's 3,400, that's a lot. Carry capacity here is a half of that. So those axles make a big difference. If I ever get a truck that can pull it, we can load it up, and we will load it up <laughs> for sure. Uh, salesmen say, oh, you don't have to carry that much stuff. Don't worry about the weight. You're going to carry a ton of stuff. I could think of thousands of pounds of crap I want to bring. You know, electric bikes. I mean, I'd like to bring dirt bikes. Of course, that's not going to happen. But, I mean, you know what I mean. There's tons of stuff. 
11.3, 11.1, it's about the same. They're both 30 feet long. That includes, you know, tip to tail. So the inside part is 25 feet, I, I believe. All right, so let's move on and take a better look inside here. So if we go through the radiance, uh, you see we got the, most of them do have this three-seater couch, which I like. So you can lay down and sleep on it. Um, this isn't the dinette. I like the one with the benches, although I think this is an upgrade, but I actually like the other one better. See what I mean about the sink? Not, you're not underneath the cabinets. You got lots of space. It's got a nice fridge, stove, heater, oven. You got the TV and the fireplace. Very nice. King size bed. Uh, looking back, I mean, it looks good. So let's take a look at this guy over here. Um, it's got actually a nicer dinette because you go all the way around dinette. Um, but this seating arrangement just doesn't work because you're not facing the TV, and you just it walk you walk right into it. Um, and you can't really close off the bedroom; it's open, it's just wide open here, which makes it feel bigger in a way. But I don't know. If somebody's trying to sleep in here and this person's watching TV, it's just not going to be it's not going to be as good, I don't think. So let's see. Let's go back over here now and compare these bedrooms. You know, yeah. So this one's just open. This one's you know closed off more. Plus, if we go back to the floor plan for a second. Uh, you see this? how this angles this way to make it nicer for the sink? Well, it also creates a cavity back here that makes nice storage in the bedroom. Whereas here you don't have that over on the MPG. So I really think the radiance is winning out for us. Now, of course, one thing I've learned in YouTube land is, man, it, it's everybody is different, right? And it has different situations. So I never like to say, hey, this is the best answer. I'm just saying this is the best answer for us, you know, and then and then uh, things could be different for for everybody. You know, you got to pick what works for you in your situation. Right. All right. So let's get back to it here. Let's go now to the next thing. You just check. Yeah, you, know, you can go through all this stuff. <clears throat> um, one thing I really like better about the radiance, too, is it's a 50 amp service and has two air conditioners. I mean, that's huge. We're in Florida super hot down here and I want to have I want to be able to run two ACs. If you have a 30 amp service you can only run one AC. Uh, also guys I'm new to this and you know if I'm saying something that's wrong put it in the comments and straighten me out on it. That's just fine. I, um, I want to know I want to know the truth here. Just uh, tell them like I see it as a newbie. So now we go to someone's the site where they're actually selling these. Uh, doesn't really matter wherever you go to and then you can see their actual pictures of the actual trailer that you might buy so let's start with the radiance this one's down at lazy days this is the one we might actually get I don't know who knows but uh, you see it's got the this type of a uh, dinette it's got the three seater it's got a wood floor it's got a sound bar too. the other one picture didn't have that sound bar fireplace at your controls TV and you know all your stuff so I won't bore you to death with this I mean the main thing here guys is I'm just trying to show you how you can like side by side go in and and really compare things you know uh, straight up oh you see here we got that outside uh, kitchen which is a big advantage and it still weighs the same too so that's good but you get the idea. We're comparing, comparing side by side. And the last thing I would do is I'd go watch a video on each one. But I don't think I want to show too much of this because I don't know if I have the right to do that. But you get the idea. Um, and then you can kind of like basically make a list and say, okay, well I like these things better over here and that one. So this one for me, this radiance clearly wins. So this is our number one pick right now. And we're probably going to go ahead and buy this thing, but um, but I could you know I could throw up the shadow over here now and compare that.
to the radiance, you know, and just go on and on until you down select to the one you want and you pick it up. So we'll be doing this with a couple other products in the future. I'm going to compare cameras and some other things the same way. So that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.